guys welcome back to the channel you might notice these things here and here we are currently throughout the month of may fundraising for saint jude's cancer research hospital there is a link in the description if you'd like to download it's an amazing cause i will leave also a link with more information for you so i don't take up your time now and you can just enjoy the video hi guys welcome back to the channel today me and melvin my friendly watermelon pal are going to be reading a story that ai wrote for us you will have to bear with me because I'm having a uh, respiratory respiratory issues. <laughs> I've got a bit of an infection, so I might get a bit out of breath reading this. But uh, this is actually we need a title for it. So if you guys want to title it, leave titles in the comments. But um, an AI wrote this in its entirety, and uh we're gonna read it now i haven't read it yet so we'll see if it's any good um and i've also got some ai images of the watermelon princess and her kingdom that i use a different app to get those images okay once upon a time in a kingdom far away there lived a beautiful and kind princess named melvina she was the ruler of the watermelon kingdom a place that was abundant in sweet and juicy watermelons. Malvina had long curly hair, the color of watermelon seeds, and eyes that shone like the summer sun. She was loved by her people, and adored for her gentle nature and generous heart. Despite her many responsibilities, Malvina loved nothing more than wandering through the watermelon fields, eating slices of sweet flesh while enjoying the warm sun on her skin. One day, while wandering through the fields, she met a handsome prince named William. I think you'll find his name is Melvin. Thank you, story. I'm going to now replace any mention of William with Melvin. He was a questing knight who had wandered into the watermelon fields in search of adventure. Melvin was fascinated by Malvina's beauty and her zest for life. Malvina was equally taken by Melvin's chivalry and his kind heart. And soon the two became inseparable. As the days passed, Malvina and Melvin grew closer. They spent long hours together strolling through the watermelon fields sharing stories and secrets, dreaming of their future together. But all was not well in the Watermelon Kingdom. A dark force had swept across the land, threatening to steal away the watermelons and destroy the kingdom forever. Melvina and Melvin knew they had to act quickly to stop the evil force. They rallied their people and together they came up with a plan to save their beloved kingdom. With Melvina's leadership and Melvin's courage, they fought fiercely against the Dark Force, using every trick in their book to defeat it. They knew that they could not do it alone, so they enlisted the help of other kingdoms in the land. Together, they vanquished the enemy. The Watermelon Kingdom was saved, and Melvina and Melvin were hailed as heroes for their bravery and their leadership. They had successfully united their people and defended the land and the watermelon kingdom was once again a flourishing place as a reward for their hard work the people of the watermelon kingdom made Melvina and Melvin king and queen together they ruled over the kingdom with wisdom and compassion and with their united efforts they ensured that the kingdom would never fall again and so they lived happily ever after, forever in love, forever protecting the watermelon kingdom. That was cheesy, I love it. So, if you would be interested in buying this book, no, I won't sell it because it's from AIR, but I could use it as a prompt to write an actual story. Maybe we could, like decide what the evil force is and how they do unite to destroy it um but yeah i think that that's super duper cool and it was fun and very very cheesy if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up let me know what ai stories i should request next 
uh, yeah, just give me plot ideas, I guess, and I'll just write them in. <laughs> and Melvin, thanks you for hanging out with us today. Um, sorry, it's such like a short one, and a little low effort, but well, frankly, I'm ill, so I don't have time to. <laughs> Frankly, I'm ill, so I don't have time to put loads of effort into things. <laughs> See you next time. Bye!